guys, I'm here with the mighty Thor, and we're going to learn all about Fusion and Workstation. Thor, that is your name, right? It is, in fact, my name. And do you have the same powers? Uh, I try to, as often as I can. Well, at least our products have the same power, I guess. So, um, can you show us a little bit more about Fusion? Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to. So, VMware Fusion 5 uh, came out last week. We're extremely excited about it. There's actually two products that we released last week. The first is VMware Fusion 5. Uh, what VMware Fusion 5 does is it sort of takes advantage of a lot of the moving parts that are going on in the industry, most notably Mountain Lion. So we've got great support for Mountain Lion. There's a couple great features, um, Notification Center and AirPlay that we integrate inside of. There's also just streamlined overall uh, speed increases in terms of uh, battery life, resume times, starting up and stopping VMs. Overall, the, the entire sort of interface has been significantly streamlined and is a lot faster. The second key piece, and this is something that everybody's talking a lot about, is Windows 8 support. So we've got full support for Windows 8, including on the Retina MacBook Pros. It looks awesome on these new Macs, and we've really designed it to be able to work really well inside of VMware Fusion. So the last piece, and I think this is kind of where it segues into the VMware Fusion Professional stuff, is there's VMware Fusion Professional, which is the, the second product that we released last week, and it's really designed for the enterprise. It gives you some really key features that, that are really unique to the enterprise in, in terms of deploying Macs into a workplace environment, most notably the ability to create restricted VMs. It also comes with a commercial license of player, which allows you to, you to uh, deploy your VMs to Windows and Linux machines as well. So you essentially have full capability of, of deploying virtual machines, running them on any device, uh, and we really think it's a game changer in the industry. It's, it's a BYOPC concept uh, really realized. The second piece that we've, we released last week is Workstation 9. Um, Workstation 9 we're extremely excited about, and we're going to bring in our resident Workstation engineer to talk about the Workstation stuff. So come on in. Hi there, Surendra Gupte from the Windows Workstation team. And here we're showing off Workstation 9, which is the newest version that we just released last week. And some of the cool features we're going to show off is you can actually run Wind workstation on a Windows 8 tablet. Here we have Windows 8 running on a, as a guest inside a VM, and you can see you can actually use multi-touch with it, so you can zoom in, zoom out, you can do all the multi-touch things that you can expect to do on a Windows 8 tablet. The other cool things you can do, you can use all the full multi-touch capability that Windows 8 provides, and you can now use it in a VM, so you can try out all your Windows 8 cool features on any multi-touch capable device that you have, that as long as it runs a version of Windows that, uh, or Linux that Workstation can be used on. One of the other cool features we are showing in Workstation 9 is something called restricted VMs, where you can configure a VM, give it out to end users, and they can use the VM, all, use everything inside the guest, but they cannot modify the configuration, the properties of the VM. And that's really cool for IT administrators, where you can create a VM with your corporate image and give it out to end users, and they can use it on any Windows machine, a Linux machine, or a Mac machine. They can use the same VM on any of those. And so here, we're showing you what it looks like when you actually use a restricted VM. So here is a restricted VM. They're always encrypted, so it requires a password. And when you try to power on the virtual machine, you can use any of the VM features just like a regular VM. But if you try to modify it, if you say you go to settings and you want to change the configuration, it asks you to enter a different password that is set by the administrator. And this way, only the administrators can modify the VM settings. One of the other cool features on our show off actually with Fusion and, and Workstation actually is we now support OpenGL applications running inside the guest. And here's a cool, here's a Linux VM that's an Ubuntu VM that's running an OpenGL application. And you can actually see that you can use a 3D application. It's very smooth. It's like almost native performance. And it looks great on any, any OpenGL application can be used inside VMs with the same performance as native hardware. And with that, I'm going to hand it off to Thor, who's going to tell you how you can get a free copy of Workstation or Fusion. Wow, that sounds really good. Uh, Thor, giving away some free licenses for Workstation Fusion. Um, I'm sure the viewers must be doing something for that. Yeah, so we, we, we love the social media community that we have, both on the Workstation and Fusion side. And in our, in our show of gratitude and a way to reach out to, the, to those folks, as well as to the folks that are on the VMworld TV stuff, we, we would like to give away two copies of VMware Fusion 5 Professional 
as well as two copies of Workstation 9 to any users that like all three pages. So the key is, is you have to go onto Facebook, like Workstation, VMware Fusion, as well as the VMware TV, and you'll be entered to win one of, uh, one of e uh, either of the Workstation 9 or VMware Fusion 5 professional pages, uh, licenses. Wow, that sounds perfect. And if I were you, I'd quickly go to Facebook, like all the three pages, so Fusion, Workstation, and VMworld TV, and make sure you're the one to win those licenses. Thank you very much.